Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's discuss the data structure concept on binary search into this session over here. So I have an empty array here. So we always uh, remember whenever we are going to talk about binary search, always whatever the numbering will be there, it should be into the ascending order over there. So I mean to say like the if you are taking suppose let's take one example. If we have an element here as a phi here, so it is a phi 8, 12, 15, 25 and 40 like 90 120 140 and 200 imagine this is our array list over here and the numbers are in the ascending order over here so it should not be always it should be into the sorted manner i mean to say it, it should be always into the sorted manner over here okay then only you can apply the binary search concept over to it so we have a two searching algorithm that is a binary search and we have a linear search as well so for that let's uh, first we'll talk about the binary search into this session over there imagine now i wanted to search one specific element over here so what is the element i wanted to search it over here so i wanted to search for an element imagine i wanted to just search it for the 120 element over here so we'll do search for 120 first then we'll see how we can search for an element that is 15 so imagine that is a search is equal to search is equals to 120 over here right now so now let's begin with the concept over here so i wanted to search the element 120 over here so always your indexing position always it is going to start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is the basically your indexing position always we start with the 0 to 9 over here now so always we need to apply one specific formula over here so in the binary search we have one specific formula that is always we wanted to find the middle element over here so how we are going to find the middle element here middle value is equals to low plus high divided by 2 over here so this is the formula for finding the specific mid element output over here so we are going to mark it into this specific box so this is very important formula based on this specific formula we are having the entire concept of the binary search over here now imagine i want to search for an element 120 now i need to apply this specific formula for it so now what is the question what is low and what is high over here so always the first element we need to mark it as a low over here and the last element into the array we need to mark it as the high value over here now so let's apply this specific formula into it right now so when i talk about this now i wanted to find the middle element mid value is what zero is the starting one and what is the high value nine so nine divided by two over here so what is the output we are going to get it as a 4.5 over here so we can take it as a four itself we can take it the previous of that 4.5 means 4 9.5 means nine like that so now we got the middle element as a four over here so when i talk about this specific array over here imagine this is a is equal to this is our array so i wanted to find array of fourth element is equals to what is the fourth indexing position that is 25 over here so we got the element that is 25 into over here now first condition here is i wanted to match i wanted to check first condition whether whatever i am searching the specific search element search element is equals to equals to the mid element mid element so i wanted to check this specific condition so what is our search element that is 120 over here so what is the mid element mid element is basically array of four this is our mid right so basically this is our mid element right so array of four is 25 so it is equals to equals to 25 no this is not equals here so the first condition is getting false over here if you imagine my search was 25 in the first occurrence only i would have got the element over here so now it is not the case over here now i wanted to check the second condition over here whether the search element ser search search element is greater than mid element or i need to check another condition ser search element is lesser than the mid element so i need to check this specific two condition over here now so if this specific condition is getting fail then we need to check the second condition whether whatever i am searching an element is that greater than the mid element or it is lesser than the mid element over here so in this case what is the condition over here so that is basically 120 is our search element it is greater than mid element that is 25 yes 120 is greater than 25 so in this condition this is getting satisfied this condition is not getting satisfied so if the search element was 15 imagine if the search element was 15 at that time 15 was lesser than the mid element right mid element is 25 that was in this case that was getting satisfied but according to this specific problem statement my search element is 120 in this specific uh, 
Only this specific second second the first condition is getting match. That is 120 is greater than 25. Our specific mid element now. So when if it, this specific condition is getting side, already we need to when this specific condition is getting side, we need to look onto the right side over here. So this is very important. Right side of the array. If this specific condition is getting satisfied, we need to divide it to the left side of the element over here. Okay. So this is how the thing is going to work over here. Okay. So now whenever this specific condition is getting satisfied, right side. If this condition is getting satisfied, left side. If the search element is greater than the middle element, always look on to the right side of the data. If the search element is lesser than the mid element, look on to the left side of the specific data over here now. So now let's divide this specific array into the two parts over here. So now we need to divide it into the two parts over here. We are going to divide this specific element into the two parts over here. So how we are going to divide it over here. So I'm going to tell always we have the mid element is uh, four, right? So just keep the mid element aside and here we need to tell. So this is a five is here and eight is here and uh, 12 is here and the 15 is over here. So this is our first array and 25 has been divided we have because it is your mid element and the right hand side of the array is that is basically a 40 and we have 90 here and we have 120 and we have 140 then we have 200 over here so this is the right side of the array so now what is the condition the search element was 120 middle element was 25 so the search element is greater than the mid element the search element is greater than the mid element so what we are going to do we are going to look on to the right side over here so this is our right side so this is basically your r i g h t right and this is going to be your left over here now according to this specific formula we need to look on to the right side of the array over here so now for the right side of the array what we are going to do now again we are just going to give the indexing position 0 1 2 and 3, 4 over here. So what is again we are going to apply the same formula mid value mid is equals to low plus high divided by 2 what is the low here 0 is the low plus what is the high value 4 is your high and divided by 2 over here right what is the output we are going to get 0 plus 4 is 4 4 divided by 2 2 so what is mid value mid value is equals to 2 over here now when we are talking about the mid value if a 2 so what is the value we got we got the 120 so if I talk about array of 2 imagine if this was your array array of 2 is going to be what the value is 120 so now apply the same condition over here the first condition whether the search element is equals to equals to middle element yes you can see now the mid value we got is as 120 and even the search element is also a 120 so in this specifically so the mid element is 120 and it is equals to equals to the search element that is 120 so we found the specific element so here we are going to stop the search operation over here so we found this specific element over here so this is how the specific algorithm is going to work and this is how the concept is also going to work over here so imagine if uh, the second example let's take one more example here the last example for the specific case itself now let's take the another example like if uh, my search element was 90 imagine the search was 90 imagine in this case the search element was 90 over here so in this specifically we need to follow the same approach if the search was 90 what was the happen here so if search was 90 now what is the search element is 90 what is the middle element middle element is 120 so here 90 is lesser than 120 right this specific condition would have satisfied so for that what we have said into over here if the search element is lesser than the mid element we need to look on to the left side of it here so we would have seen the left side of the element over here so and in this case what would what would have been uh, the concept over here how it, how it is going to be there here so in this case i'm just going to zoom little bit uh, out over here so if i zoom okay it is going entirely okay let's take it here itself in this case if it was uh, 90 is lesser than 120 it we need to look on to the left side at that time only we would have only the two specific array that is mainly that is we are going to have a 40 and we are going to have a 90 over here right so it is 0 1 so 0 divided by 1 we will be getting as a 0 0.5 right 0 0.5 that is basically we need to look on to the 1 we will look into the 1 over here so when we look on to the 1 what happened we found the mid element here we found the mid element as a one year so 90 was the case so we would have found over here and the search element was found over here so this is how the search algorithm is going to work i hope you have understood the binary search it is very simple whenever we are working on to this specific concept just uh, have a look on to this uh, formula low plus high divided by two 
just keep on applying this specific formula and this two specific condition if the search element equals to equals to middle element we found an element if the search element is lesser than the mid element look on to the left side of the array again apply the same formula divided if the search element is greater than the middle value look on to the right side of the specific array again apply the same specific formula that is a low plus i find the mid element apply the same formula keep on repeating the process until and unless you find the element so i hope you have got this specific concept take care bye bye